Hi everyone. So today what I decided to talk about is getting stuck. And I want to use myself as an example because this week I got stuck. And I want to tell you how I got unstuck. So first off, I just felt stuck. I felt in a rut. I felt like I wasn't going anywhere. And I started to get really worried about that. You know, I just, I didn't feel any spiritual growth. I just wasn't. And my immediate reaction is, oh my goodness, I'm starting to get worried. What's going on? You know, for a long time, just, you know, growth was happening. It would just happen. I would get wonderful epiphanies and I would get great messages. And then nothing was really coming this week. It was just a very stuck week. I just felt stuck, to be perfectly honest. I was in a rut. I was doing my normal stuff. I was doing, you know, the meditations. I was going on walks. And I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I just felt like I was, like, going through the motions. That's exactly what it was. I was going through the motions. And so I started to get really worried. And when you get worried, you move from a space of your heart up to your head. And what starts to happen is as you start worrying, more and more worried thoughts start piling up. It's like a snowball. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you're consumed by it. And that's what happened. I got consumed by this worry. And what I like to attribute worry to, other than a snowball, is a rocking chair. And all you do is go foot back and forth, back and forth. There's no actual forward movement. You're just going forward and then those worry thoughts pull you back. And then you start to, oh, I might get there. No, no. You know, and those thoughts pull you back. And so... I didn't know what to do. I was at a loss. And all week I just worried about it. And then finally yesterday, I went to my old faithful cards. And my faithful cards are the cards that I go to for guidance if I just don't know what to do. Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. I love those cards. They have never let me down. They are always dead on right. And I can always get good guidance from them. So I was shuffling and I was like, okay, what can I do to improve my situation? What can I do to improve my situation? And I'm shuffling, I'm shuffling, bam, card falls out. And it's my joy guides. And it says restriction. You're in your head. And I was like, oh my God, of course, this is exactly what's wrong. I'm in my head. I'm thinking. I'm thinking everything. I'm, I'm worrying. I'm not really going anywhere because I'm not listening to my intuition. I'm listening to all the thoughts that are going on up here about worrying. Maybe this isn't the right path. Maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I should do something different. Oh my goodness, have I done this right? Or maybe I did this wrong. Or maybe the guides are mad at me and stuff like that. But that's not true at all. And the message on the card is just laugh. Your situation is serious, but it's not critical. Laugh your way out of it. And I was like, laugh my way out of it. I never thought of it that way. And so I thought, okay, how am I going to get myself to laugh? How am I going to get myself out of this worried? Because I'm not feeling in the mood to laugh right now. And so uh, me and my mom and my sister all went to go get some dinner. They decided they wanted Chinese. I didn't really want Chinese. So I was like, hmm. So I sat in the car and I was like, <gasps> Kathy Griffin. I love Kathy Griffin. I haven't seen any of seen any of her specials in a while. I'll watch it. So I thought to myself, well, it's probably not going to be the best quality. And it's probably, you know, it's probably going to buffer a lot. But, you know, whatever. Because it's 45 minutes long. I swear, hand to God, that I went on to YouTube, found a 45 minute video. It was crystal clear and it never stopped once. Not once. Not until my mom and my sister got back in the car. I know they didn't take 45 minutes. It took about 15. But, you know, for 15 minutes, I got to watch this video and laugh. So then we got home. I ate something else. And I went into my room and I started watching more of the Kathy Griffin. I laughed for the whole 45 minutes. And I felt so much better. I felt so much lighter. I didn't feel the, the worried thoughts or the worried energy anymore. And so I decided to go for a walk. And I was like, I'm going to go for a walk. I feel renewed. I feel better. I'm going to go, you know, connect with nature a little bit. Maybe do a little bit of sun gazing. Because I've heard about the sun gazing, but I haven't done it. 
So I said, oh, maybe I will. So I started walking. And as I, you know, I went to my little foresty area that y'all saw in my last video. And then, you know, went home. And on my way home, I was behind this pair of parents who were were walking their kids. You know, one was riding a tricycle. The other was in those, like, little mommy sacks. And so I said, you know, excuse me, you know. And I went around them. And as I did, the, the mom said, Tommy, say hello. My ears perked up. I was like, what? I turned around because my joy guide or one of my joy guides name is Tommy. And he is a little boy. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I turned around and I said, hello. And as I turned around and said, hello, I also noticed he was wearing polar bear pajamas. I have a polar bear guide as well. I was like, whoa, okay. Obviously, we're speaking to me. Then, you know, the wind kind of picks up a little bit and this wind chime goes off and I just happen to look off in, it, in that direction. And there is an owl hanging there. I mean, not an actual physical owl, but like one of those little ceramic ones. I was like, oh, okay, apparently Owl's here too, Joy Guy Tommy's here, Protector Guy Bear is here, and then, you know, so I started, I said, hello, how are you, you know, I really like your polar bears, you know, he acted all shy, he said, thank you, and I said, oh, who's up here, you know, pointing to his mom, and he was like, mommy, and I said, oh, not mommy, I mean, who, who's that baby, is that your baby, and, you know, he smiled, and he said, yes, I said, what's that baby's name? And, you know, he just kind of looked at his mom and she said, Hannah, I swear if I, if you would have seen me, my face probably turn 50 shades of white and I started to smile. And the only reason I did was because I also have a joy guide whose name is Hannah. And I just smiled and I was like, oh my goodness, that's super cool. Well, you know, have a great night and waved goodbye. And the whole way home, I just smiled and I just laughed and I was like, oh my goodness, guides, universe, you are just too funny. Look at this. Look at this wonderfulness. After you get out of that stuck energy and get back into your intuition and into your heart, your guides can talk to you. So that's the best way to get out of stuck energy is to laugh. Get out of your head and just laugh. So, you know, go on YouTube find yourself your favorite comedian. Watch one of their specials. Watch them just do a couple jokes. If you don't have access to that, go on Pandora and they have like a whole comedian channel. I did not know that. I looked it up when I got home and I was like, wow, they do. It's amazing. And so listen to that. If you can't do that or you just don't feel in the mood to, start to fake laugh. And I mean it. Fake laugh. It's really easy. And once you start fake laughing... One of two things is going to happen. Either, you know, you're just going to be like, oh my gosh, it was so stupid. Why did I fake laugh for? And then you're going to really laugh because it just sounds so silly. Or you may start to cry because you're releasing. You're getting out of that, you know, this headspace and you're getting more into a joyful space and you're releasing those old emotions. And so that's just two, three ways to get out of stuck energy. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for subscribing. I want to thank you all for watching. And I wish you a day that is easy, magical, and filled with gifts. Bye.